Hey, this is David E. Talbert, the writer and director of Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. You might want to open this one. In Jingle Jangle, Forrest Whitaker, as he's introduced here as Jeronica's Jangle, he's lost all his magic and his mojo, and so we see him 30 years removed from being this vibrant, joyful man, and now he's a pawnbroker. And there's only one person in all of Cobbleton <laughs> that believes he still has it, and that is Miss Johnston, who is the heartbeat of this film for me. I love the light that she has in her and wants to shine it on him. The actress, a brilliant actress who plays uh, Miss Johnston is Lisa Davina Phillip. She's a British stage actress, and she is killing it. Just because you fell down, don't believe you can pick yourself up again. Well, the song is called Miles and Miles, and the lyric is, the world needs to see you smile, because your smile goes for miles and miles. And when we did the, the, the music of it, I wanted it to be reminiscent of the uh, Minneapolis sound and Prince, so it was heavy with that guitar. But, but uh, Miss Johnson is a beautiful, full-figured woman. So we wanted the beat to be like her hips were moving. We do know people can sing. Boom, 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 boom. Me, I grew up watching um, Tremaine Hawkins, who was one of the great gospel singers. And when she would sing, she would rear her back like all the way back, like you thought she was gonna fall. So I told Lisa, in honor of that kind of belting, in the black church in the States, you know, I wanted her to really lean back. And so she just brought, brought the thing to life. Are, are you drunk? And then in the midst of the song, uh, we had these wonderful backgrounds that Phil Lawrence put in this song. And when I heard these backgrounds, I'm like, well, no, these people got to be in the film. So they weren't even originally supposed to be in there. But I wanted to be like the Pips, like Gladys Knight and the Pips. So that's what we were calling them, the Pips. So we wanted to have these three black men dressed to the nine doing choreographed dancing. And I thought that would be kind of a shout out to the 70s soul movement of, of when grown black men were doing choreographed dancing. Well, I hired Ashley Wallen, who did uh, the choreography for The Greatest Showman. And then when it was time for this scene, we went on YouTube and we pulled up Temptation. And he just incorporated that with this cat and mouse thing. And they end up taking over the song. It's all about them. Once they pop up there, you're like, okay, I didn't expect that, but I love it. You feel better when you smile.